All right, so I'm Dan Hiding, and I'm uh, DPing the shoot here for Emin Original. We're shooting high respects on a boat here in downtown St. Paul, and I got my buddy Ryan Thompson here. Hello. That is a loud motorcycle, and uh, we're gonna get into this. To be loved. filmmaker and I make music videos. I also do live concert videos and recaps and then I do uh, things like City of Music on Minneapolis TV. Minneapolis TV is this network of people that have made this website that they believe in and it's all about creating content centered around culture in Minneapolis. I think what Minneapolis TV is more than anything is basically it's like the people's TV station. It's kind of erasing that boundary between television and like YouTube. This is something where someone can show up with an idea and pitch it and get it produced and get it made, you know, in a quality way and they can feel part of it. And because of that, people feel ownership in it, you know. They feel like they can relate to this because this content is made by their friends. City Music is a show on Minneapolis TV where bands perform one song live in a unique location. Basically what we do is it's a multi-camera thing. We get anywhere from two to 15 cameras and uh, set them up and shoot a band performing a few takes. The Marijuana Death Squad City Music had 15 simultaneous cameras and that's how we got this crazy matrix like turning effect on the drummers. And then there was two guys with cameras shooting behind the scenes video at the same time. The concept actually came from Ryan Olson. Uh, had this crazy idea about this 80s tube camera, put it on a dolly. What City Music is is basically just like using what you have at your disposal and doing the best you can with it. People come and volunteer and shoot. So whatever they have is what we use. And the same goes for like grip gear, dollies or whatever. We used uh, my car for a dolly for the No Bird Sing shoot, you know, to push in and out on that one, because uh, that's what we had. Another thing we got to use on the No Bird Sing shoot was uh, one of our videographers, David Fink, is an avid skateboard filmer. And he brought a skateboard, and so we're in this huge garage with like a big concrete floor. And he's like, could I get my skateboard out? And we're like, sure. So there's like these skateboard shots like zooming in towards the band that kind of look like low dolly shots. But that was just kind of like a spur of the moment thing that just the idea came up and we went with it. And that's basically what it is that we do is just we kind of come up with ideas on the spot of like what could be cool and how to like best communicate what this band sounds like and what this location feels like and just go with it. for Bon Iver to get uh, some music videos made. I think maybe they were familiar with me and so they asked me to do the Calgary video for them. The concept just came out of me and Justin and Andre Duran, my co-director and DP, just kind of sitting around and just kind of talking about ideas and Andre was the one who really came up with all this cool imagery and like Justin and I were like, yeah, we're into that, dude. Let's do that. Can we do that? I don't know, let's try. You know, that whole video takes place in a barn. Like, we dug a lake and built two different forests and built the bed and made the bed raise and built this big tunnel. And then we had to drain the lake and fill it in so that the next day we could build that big stage that the bear comes out of. So the whole thing was shot in two days in a barn, you know? It's crazy. In the true Minneapolis TV tradition, we use everything but the kitchen sink, so found this cart and turned it into a dolly. We 
got the movement. Let's just get in there and get close-ups. All right, clap it. High respect. The pushback takes three. Like the patriot act. Television mates just wanted waiting. Your mates are hated. YouTube made it the latest and the greatest. And now we're motivated like your favorite rapper. Except getting paid for ages that matters. This is a plague and I'm the lead actor. But now I keep up my mind. The way that I shoot and the way that a lot of people at City Music shoot is basically like we want to take on the perspective of what it's like to be there at the performance. So we move around a lot and contort our bodies to try to get the right angles based on how the song feels. Getting in there and getting that intimate experience and feeling like you're really close to what's going on in the performance. And I guess in that way you sort of are playing your camera as an instrument a little bit and you're kind of just dancing with the people and moving. I guess what people should know about me uh, to understand my work is just that I'm really passionate about music and I'm really passionate about the music in Minneapolis. I'm really passionate about the scene here and I love just fostering that through my work. What I hope for the future for me, I guess, is to just be able to continue to make a living meeting people that are awesome and amazingly talented and documenting what they do and showing the world what all these awesome people can do. All of that stuff, if that can keep going, then. I'm good.